and welcome to the Matt Wilkie podcast. I just want to talk about Jay Stillman's experience relating to opening a pizza restaurant with a other expat. Um, the reason being is the problems he's had aren't very unique. Um, there's been some sort of issue that involved um, Jay being accused of robbing his own store um, for the money is owned by his former business partner, Wendell. Um, but I will say, though, if you haven't got everything on paper, you've got problems. If you've got a third party that actually owns the business, which is normally a Filipino in the Philippines due to the way the systems are set up for operating a business, you're going to have a problem. It's not that you're always going to have a problem. You've got to assume you're going to have some problems, which is why you need to safeguard yourself against any issues. One of the things I will say about having business with other expats, though, is you really need to know them well. Um, there has been some, some very strange things that have happened over the years. Um, there was Roger's Bar, for example, in Talise, that was eventually brought out by some other parties. They didn't, eventually, they, initially, um, they thought Roger was a stand up guy, but then there seems to be issues relating to Roger and minors. Um, eventually, they bought him out to get rid of him, but you can understand how that would affect your business if you actually went into business not knowing that one of your partners is actually involved in activities that um, are dubious, to say the least. Um, I'll leave it at that. But the there was another restaurant um, that opened up in Toledo, had a an interesting one, because... A couple of guys had communicated for a long period of time before uh, before one of the guys actually retired in the area. And then when he moved there, um, they decided to have a restaurant together because they communicated all, you know, for months or years even. It might have been a couple of years. But he didn't realise the guy had actually developed a drinking problem. Um, when he retired, he simply drank in the restaurant all day, slapping the customers, female partners and females, as well as the staffs, female staff on the backside as they walk past, generally loud and not the sort of place you'd want to be running a business with. Um, well, not the sort of base, place you would actually want to be hanging out. And obviously it caused a bit of stress and issues with the other guy that thought this guy was fine until he went into business with him. So Jay's issues with his current business partner aren't few and far between. It's quite common for people to make mistakes um, with working with the wrong people. You've got to remember you don't know these people. A lot of people have come from strange environments or you don't know their backgrounds you don't know their history you don't know their experiences um i mean generally the people i work with business wise all come from the same fields so we understand each other and it's over a period of time that we actually develop um concepts and ideas and develop things that we have a level understanding with but it's all professional in the philippines you're opening a lot of small businesses, which are often time-consuming. They often have too much opportunity for theft, low profit, um, lots of issues. And the main upside, myself, is quite simply communication, speaking with locals, etc. Because most of the businesses aren't big business unless you actually start franchising or owning like 10, 20 outlets or becoming like David Salon, which is nationwide. But it all starts at the beginning with some small stores. But also as things expand, people get more and more greedy, uh, which is why the risks increase as you get bigger because you start getting the local mayor and other people interested um, 
I can't remember the guy's name. There was a guy that was actually murdered in CDO. He was actually shot dead at a resort along with his girlfriend. Uh, I think his second name's Taylor. You'll probably be able to look it up. But he, he was involved with some internet business doing SEO and stuff. But he was literally assassinated at the swimming pool over business. Um, these things aren't uncommon in the Philippines. Um, so if you're going to go into business, actually decide, do you want a hobby or do you want a business? Because if you want a hobby, do some charity stuff. Um, go and do something local. Um, or build a motor, build a boat, renovate something, learn some new things. Because if you don't need money, a lot of time you do not need the hassle. And the problem you get is once you start these things, they be they take a mind of their own. So initially you think it's nice to have a restaurant. I'm just going to sit in here a couple hours a day. And then the reality kicks in that you're there from 7 a.m. waiting for suppliers because some of the guys haven't turned up that are supposed to get the stuff for you. And then you're still there at 10 o'clock at night kicking out customers because somebody's phoned in sick or whatever. So it is not a relaxing environment. Anyway, the point in all this is we live and learn. Don't take anything personal. Just take it as an experience. Um, much better to just take the slap, slap on the face and learn from it. Because nine times out of ten, you ain't getting your money back. You ain't getting the business back. Um, if it goes south, it's going to go south. There's very little you're going to be able to do to recover it. Unless you make sure everything's set up to recover as much as possible. But even then, you could end up in court, which costs more than some of these businesses are worth. There's a few things to consider. Thanks for listening.